On September 13th, firefighters and animal control arrived at a gated property on 116th Street East near Puyallup. It's a business that works on FedEx delivery trucks, but the victim in this case worked for the United Parcel Service. He's a UPS driver and he was attacked by five pit bulls that are still currently outside. Fires arrived and he's blocked inside of the trailer on the property. UPS driver Kevin Backlin entered the yard to deliver a package and four pit bulls attacked him. He jumped on the back of a flatbed trailer to try to get away from the dogs. And then I saw the man up on the trailer and I didn't know what to do. I wasn't going to go in there. You know. Neighbor Brittany Soderlin saw blood on the driver's arms and legs. The photos of the scene hint at how bad his injuries were. The incident report from Ording Valley Fire and Rescue said the driver was covered in blood on top of a small trailer four feet off the ground and had one of the pit bulls latched on his leg. According to the report, a woman standing outside the gate told the firefighters the driver was trespassing and kicked one of my dogs. They are going to kill him. Didn't want him on the property, didn't allow him on the property. Fire Chief Zane Gibson said when the woman refused to open the gate, the responders had no other choice but to ram it. Uh, the battalion chief observed him, feared for his life, and that's why he made the decision to ram the gate and get him out. Backland, a 59-year-old former Nevada Highway Patrol trooper, had deep bites to both legs, tearing into the muscle and down to the bone in the left leg. Animal control officers retrieved his boots from the property, which the dogs had pulled off. They found a small Beware of Dog sticker on the fence. An investigator asked the UPS manager if there were any instruction in their database not to enter the property, and he stated there was not. When we went to the property, we found a dented gate and a small, bright psycho dog zone sign inside the fence. The men who were working at the business referred us to an attorney who declined to comment on the case until their investigation was complete. As for the woman who refused to let paramedics gain access to the yard, we found she's not associated with that property at all. She definitely doesn't live there. She lives down the road. Um, she had kept saying, my dogs, my dogs, but they're definitely not her dogs. Backland is still on antibiotics and painkillers and goes to the clinic to have his wounds cleaned every other day. He released a statement that said, in part, we want to express our deepest gratitude to Ording Valley Fire Department for their courageous actions that we believe saved my life. As vicious as the attack was, the attorney for the dog's owner says there's much more to be learned about this case and that they're appealing the dangerous dog status. If the appeal does not go through, the dogs will be destroyed. In the newsroom, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.